Hi guys, welcome back to our online learning modules for the intro camera. We're going to talk about uh, the use of the camera in this segment in the hygiene room. So last segment we spoke about new patient exams and one of the major goals was to build trust. These are people we don't know very well. They're just coming to see us. Flip it a little bit. The story in hygiene for the most part is we're dealing with patients who know us they trust us and they've been in our office time and time again. So the main use for the intro camera in hygiene is uh, be effective and efficient with our time, patient education, and building value. Now, in the new patient exam, we talked about six different pictures that we take on every single patient who walks in the door. Hygiene, we narrow that spectrum a little bit and we take four images. We already have those baseline photos in their chart, they're stored. If we need to take a new one because a patient has um, a specific complaint or a specific concern, we can. But on the day-to-day, -day, we take the four same images over and over in hygiene. So we're going to bring those up for you. The first picture that we take is this one here, and it is a pre-op picture of the lingual of the lower anterior. This goes to value. Your patients, our patients, can't see that surface, but on 99% of them, there is hardened plaque and calculus there all day long. Maybe even some bleeding if we touch it just a little bit before we take that picture. But a patient can visualize what they walk in the door with, which leads us to the second picture that we take. Once that area is cleaned, one of the hygienists will re-image that same area. Now, instead of looking like garbage, it looks pretty, pretty nice. So a patient gets to understand what they walked in the door with, and they also get a sense of what it is their hygienist is doing for them. And this is an area that we can count on uh, looking not so great and count on looking a whole lot better when they're finished. The last two pictures are re kind of required to take by the hygienist, but they can vary. So we're looking for problems. A hygienist can take, you know, it could be a cracked tooth. Maybe it's a, a 30-year-old amalgam that is failing. Maybe a patient has a broken tooth, cusp is off. You know, it's up to the hygienist to take those pictures at his or her discretion. So what happens if a patient has perfect teeth? Then I am A-OK -okay with them taking two other images of great-looking teeth and using it as a congratulations to the patient for doing a great job. Because remember, the hygiene appointment, one of the biggest things we're trying to do is build value. We get a nice before and after of the lower linguals. We get a couple nice pictures if they have an issue, which provides us an opportunity to treatment plan really quickly. And if everything looks great, a hygienist can take a couple pictures of things that look great and tell the patient they're doing a good job. Or maybe it's some work we did before that still looks great two years later, five years later, ten years later. It's all about building value and all about education. So thanks for listening. Next time we're going to tackle the use of the intro camera and the restorative appointment. See you soon.